What's going on YouTube? I'm here. Welcome back to more Vampire Walkthrough I'm doing. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. I mean, I love the game. I think it's quite actually good. I'm it and make me want to play it more. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty stupid. There's uh, the whole stamina thing. But then again, if the stamina wasn't in there, it would make the game way too easy. But as you can see, I'm doing it on hard mode. I've not played it before until... But I played it for like an hour on my Xbox once. Uh, but I didn't get any further in the hospital. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. I've got that much thing to do, haven't I? Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Yeah, the number is just why. Get out of here, stamina, come on, come on, come on, come on, stamina, go, move. Oh, I'm gonna stop doing that, stop there, come on. <laughs> Man, just... Let's take him out there. Oh shit, it hit me. Come on, stamina, I got up again. Oh, hang on, he's injured. Leech 
stamina, man. I got this going low. Oh shit, I'm trying to get his blood, but. I mean, I, I need it. Helps having having uh, this top weapon. I mean, it's definitely better than having the others. The, the action, I think, it stuns them as well, so it's much better. I in combat, I'd recommend using that. I mean, hang on, let's have a look. See if I can upgrade it soon, because I need to, something. I need to upgrade is this. It literally stuns them so you can like get the blood. I mean the attack ain't attack speed is a bit Well it takes more stamina actually, I didn't even notice that but it stuns them and it it's better attack speed so hang on. Let me have a quick look, look, look what I'll But It's generally better than anything anything else. It's smart I definitely need to uh upgrade. Make better. Oh, that was the way out. Am I ever going the right way? Yeah, um, I think I believe it. Go ahead and say, and strike across the bridge and I'm back at the hospital. Sweet. Ambushes. I do hear a lot of babies crying in this game actually. <laughs> Walking in the babies crying. The baby would cry something like in the street or something. I just haven't got a fight of it down there, it's one thing. Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss, but to me it smells like the purest mountain air. I can't, uh, if I wanted to eat him, I could. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. So I could actually eat him, Good kill evening. him the once. Good evening, Dr. Reed. I could actually kill him. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. Um... As a soldier, you're expected to kill the enemy to survive. Guilt 
is a powerful emotion and could lead to feelings of suffocation and oppression. My god, you're so wrong. Believe me, I would kill if it happened again. Violence is part of who I am. There's a Okay. No, I let him go. Can't just kill a guy though, you know. I'm tempt I am tempted though. I am very tempted to kill him. Good evening. Evening, Dr. Reed. Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. As a soldier, you're expected to kill the enemy to survive. Guilt is a powerful emotion and could lead to feelings of suffocation. Well, we need depression. to get in. I just I want to. <laughs> I don't know why. Believe me, I would kill if it happened again. Violence is part of who I am. Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by the canal after an argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in, despite my claustrophobia. Tell me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? <sighs> That's what the bloody doctor said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital. But I can't stand being closed in. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about was their careers and processes. I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last a lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. I understand what you mean. I was a soldier too. No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. So tempted to get him. No, no, I can. Try to take care of yourself. But I know it has consequences for whatever I do, so... Hello again, Mr. Blight. I'm happy to see Mr. Thatcher is safe, for now. I'm eternally grateful, Doctor. We were total strangers and you helped us anyway. Can't thank you enough, sir. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears, my fingers, lips. I couldn't move. I couldn't call for help. I see. That sounds fucking no, awful, to be honest. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. Fucking vermin eating your flesh. Oswald. He found me and saved me. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. I can't, I can't kill him, can I? Hello again, Mr. Blight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. My mental is not high enough yet. Oh, I need to be level 3 mesmerizer. Oh, Goodbye, that's right. Mr. Blight. I'm Take still trying to yourself. understand that thing. No. Right. <laughs> I 
I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. We are vampires. We live by leeching the blood from weaker prey. We are Darwin's next chapter. His cynical and perhaps ultimate experience. I didn't see that coming there. Her doing that. The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has, shall we say, seen the error of her ways. So who was it? My lady, the blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. The culprit's identity is of no relevance. Thank you, Jonathan. That is exactly what I needed from you. You have proven your loyalty, so... As a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. Thank you, my lady. If you have an inclination to learn more about vampires or your current situation, I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution, and I'm no fool. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. It's different for each legend, man. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. And then die of a blood in them system, yeah? A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No, you are now an echo, and that you shall remain. So we are echo. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. 
But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... but a branch of the immortal tree. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters, prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of Prewen. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society, and like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seemed they have been recruiting. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here, in the city. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed. 
and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel to let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. I bid you farewell, for now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Actually, before I do that, I hear some stuff about him when I say this. Good evening, Doctor. Good evening, Doctor. Up. Still trying to save lives. Well, I can actually eat this guy as well. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. Goodbye, Milton. I ain't gonna kill him anyway, because I'm not gonna ever trade him. Do need to eat someone soon, though. I mean, who's getting it? Ah, what about that stuck up doctor earlier? <laughs> Rude one. I, mean, I wonder if I could put her out of misery, out of misery like. My, uh. She would be a vampire. I was just intrigued to know. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. What's well, different? Not vampire. enough for you, puny mortal. What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before. Becoming a vampire. It was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? She is full on bonkers, isn't she? Okay. Yeah, she is definitely a vampire. I'm out of the blood first and do what I need to do. The flower's dying. It needs water. Well, where do I add his blood again? Where do I need to do that? Oh, is it increasing my stamina rate? Oh, that's not going to land Ah. Oh, 
Right, well, so that's what I need to upgrade. This is my. Uh, I'll show you for that. Okay. Another trophy. <laughs> Alright. 145 damage it does. Stamina does down a bit, but. Okay. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. For... oh, what the... how was that about? I didn't mean to do that then. Um... Ah, oh, it's level 3 on it, I wanted. I don't want my other one on there, I just wanted that one. I want to make sure that's still on there. Alright, let's, let's rest. Oh, what are these? That's probably something I could do. Nah. Need more XP. No, I don't want to cancel. Oh, shit. I forgot I got it back. Oh. My disappearance is what. Reports of mysterious disappearances have escalated in the past weeks. It has reached a point where witnesses have to create a queue before we can. That's the news. Also. Missing. I didn't kill her, so why is she missing? I, I actually saw. <laughs> what? Okay. When I attempted to kill him. I could kill them but wanted to. I 
I wouldn't mind killing him though. Here's a bit annoying. No, not here. It's not him I want to kill. Where's the other one? Where's the other doctor? Yeah, it's him in it. Not want to kill. So I, I didn't kill her, but she's missing anyway. Just says missing, don't say. Miss second guys, we've got one on the toilet. Alright. I need to go see with Dr. Edgar. Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here. But it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. But the risk of infection using vampire blood could compound the situation. I know, but your blood now carries remarkable regenerative properties. With our minds and your blood, there's nothing we couldn't cure. We'll discuss this more later. I'm not to kill you soon enough, will I? No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. He's gonna be mad in these once he wants to, to my guy's blood more but I feel like I might have to kill him soon enough. We just don't read cemetery. Like, where am I even going? I never thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear. Right, hang on. 
Right, let's open that way so I need to go here, down here, and then turn up. Because I wasn't going to go all through there. What's that? Not oh, yeah, a hideout event. I need to go over there actually. Right, well, uh, first thing to go is over here, so it's down here and up that way. Okay. I'm not doing it to dogs, I don't care. I don't like to hurt dogs. <laughs> I have this thirst for blood. Oh, just, just chat the money. I just killed him, that's why. <laughs> oh, okay. I need to go get him over there. Right, my, my stamina is going down again, man. Come on, stamina. Come on, stamina, it's ridiculous. Oh. It's kind of annoying when the stamina goes down when you don't want it to go down. Well, that's one way to get into Whitechapel.
It's actually much easier to kill things now. My dear sister. I don't know if I have the strength. No one's ever strong enough, mate, for this stuff. What do you want? Somebody help! Oh shit! Should we dead now, near enough, or more? They've lost their minds. No, a voice. That's weird. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Xiao Shun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. I know where I know her from. She's just in Dr. Who once. I just know it's her from Doctor Who. Carnage. Like years and years. Is ago. Father Whitaker's disciple among the bodies, I wonder? This man's far too old to be Samuel. No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. I miss girls. I don't need blood, it's fine. Oh shit! Fuck, fuck. Something out of the wrong time. Scowls down here. Where did he come from? Shit! Hey boys!
fucking things over here. Shit. What's gonna happen? Whoa, okay. Whoa! So I killed quite a few of them um, savage vampire things. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. Mother, why have you come here? This is proving far worse than I imagined. My mother would die if she were to see me in this state. I must wait. Okay. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place? <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, Mary. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <laughs> Must be hard watching that from a distance. This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. I'm missing that I've got one in the toilet. <sighs> Sorry about that. You know, when a man's got to go, a man's got to go. <laughs> she was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan, and a young Ekon, a newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me, and it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head, her mind shattered, and, and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. 
Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. I'm learning. Every night is a new lesson. What I am, what I must do to survive. But my sister, she shouldn't have suffered because of my weakness. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here, to warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends, loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. You may be right. Of course. I've stared upon this world for centuries, and time has taught me to deal with guilt, if not erase it. What should I do, then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. You feel guilty for what you did, mate. Musman would. I need to kill his own sister. <laughs> Not really his fault. But he did it still. Oh, oh. Turn around, sir. Don't come any fucking closer. Elite! Elite! Now I'm getting like, all these new powers and I'm getting used to it and I've got a weapon. Even on a hard mode, they're no match. I find scouts harder to kill than humans. Hi boys. Oh shit, I'm in here. Fuck. I got bomb rushed. One just stood there would watch me kill it again and then I got bum rushed. <laughs> well, I expecting to get four, like, fucking another few more scowls down that's with me. I am getting into a game now, I'm starting to like the game more. I'll probably be completing in a couple of days now than me. <laughs> Especially if I wake up early again tomorrow like I did this morning. Oh, I'm back here again.
Hold on. Oh, sick ass. Why is he lighting up like that? I'm gonna go see the guy actually, see what he was it's kind of a Hello, sir. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor, inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. As a vampire. N or not. All right. I shan't insist. Goodbye for now, sir. Unless you want to die, I'd back off. Well, okay, more scars are in now. Oh shit, I missed that one. Come on, stamina, before I die. Yeah. There's no way I can take on fucking... that many of them. Mind you, that, thing, that guy's heart was, was lighting up, so it means he's it's, it's up to something. I wonder if there's a way I can look for like another window or something. He's up to some accuse. Right, things gone now. Okay. And off to church he goes, a newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn. You reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin. Forget your old, weaker self. What do you want from me? Oh. He seems a strong one. I not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. Is it meant to be a Hulk fucking vampire king or whatever? These immortals try my patience, 
with their plans and unsolicited counsel. Whoa, I'm getting sh caught, caught in a crossfire here. I can help you out, mate, but okay. Oh, I'm gonna get me then. I'm gonna try and help you, but okay. What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. No secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel. For I can be as silent as stone. I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage. Yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? I don't know if I should trust him or not. She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She was murdered. I see. I need to get her out. Okay. Feeling, my son? I feel responsible. The pain is consuming me. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What words would you like to say to your poor sister? I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been heard, my son. And your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Okay. There. 
I confessed to that vicar. Do I feel better? Only time will tell. Good evening, Doctor. Can I help you? Christina Popper claims she sells her body because she can't find any other work. Do you believe her? Of course I do. Her story is exactly what I want my readers to understand. We live in an intolerant and divided nature. Do you think things will ever change, Mr. Darby? I believe the situation can only improve. And now that women can vote, I'm convinced things will change. Have you any news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? It appears the dispensary is now a major source of contagion in Whitechapel. Someone should do something about it. But no oh, one I'm actually head over right now, actually. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. She was missing this year, so. Where was it? Where was that guy's house? I can't remember where it was. <laughs> Pay me a glass and I'll you be gentle. Pay me a bottle Christ. and I'll be imprisoned by your daily routine. Come on, we can sort it out, right? It's not my call, but you again. What do you want this time? I can him yet. Oh, I'm afraid. Bye, Mr. B. I can't remember where that guy lived. Ah, oh, I just remember that. Maybe that's it over there. Yeah, this is it. I cannot enter. Oh, he lived. No, he didn't. Uh, I'll get in there then. No door on the sides in there, I just way. Oh, I'm knocking on this door. Oh shit, you're not in mass, right? Away. The scouts are in this place. Oh, she turned anyway. Oh, 
Arsch, ein Schaden da. Das ist right about a Siri. Oh, so Why is it killing me? And did she get infected? Like, unless his fear is right. And perhaps I should have just killed her. I did go in there, kind of not knowing what I was going to be facing. Just walk straight in there. <laughs> She's now a skull now. Oh, I'm back here. to basically ah oh, plenty of blood come on move I can't get out of it! I, I, I wouldn't let me! Oh, that was just complete bad luck. I was generally stuck, he would not let me move. At all. I just got in a position where I just couldn't move. I was just back in my circle, I didn't... <laughs> and it wasn't like let me move at all. Slowly on the screen does take ages though. <sighs> well, I will do it. I'm trying to die on the special lever. I wish there was a safe house near than that.
I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? Okay, then. Come on in. I'm a Harry, by the way. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. I can't who his father is. What could be worse? How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day, but I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough, like. Well, you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, what can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot who makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. Forgive my bluntness, young man. But you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? This place is awful, I agree. But does that not mean your situation can only improve? That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. But I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I, I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody, frightening things. So that's why you stay at home all day? For fear of the epidemic? I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened? Oh, I now know his father is. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. But you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my safety. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. That guy's proper depressed. I'm gonna him. Death is so cold. I hoped it would be more meaningful. Man was proper depressed. What's that happening like? It's also. <laughs> yeah, I know. Probably gonna regret killing him, but. Hey. I'm a vampire, it's in the guy's nature. <laughs> Back door, at least. Well, now it's hard to believe. 
me, but this district has always been wretched. I'll let you go. Where's my money? <laughs> I'll have to get him soon. Right through here, wouldn't it? Oh shit! Can't hit it then. Fuck me, my house. What? How am I dying trying to fight her? I just hit her once and I was. I, she didn't even attack me. I'm gonna go back to that because I don't know why that's happening. I generally don't know why. <laughs> Trying to fight her and I just got poisoned. I'm actually going to go back to that though. I ain't gonna go back to it again. Alright. I was like, yes. I was heading back to the hospital before my PS4 froze. Yeah, I was on the way from these guys. We're in the next area as well, watch. Wait. <laughs> I was just getting away from these guys. I literally just got through this gate and my PS4 froze. Look, I was just after this loading screen. He'd done this loading thing and then it froze me. My friend, a friend of mine on PS4 told me uh, how to uh, clear a cache or something on PS4. So I had to do that. Don't freeze me again, please. No, nope, that's in forest meat. Perfect. Remorse and pain are precious when binding you to the earth. You, I remember you. Fear be gone. I would harm no child of my making. This. Is your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. You selected me. Chose me. As shall my children yet to come. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison 
An older rage brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. Defeat the serpent of knowing with iron spur. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. I wouldn't trust Edgar, mate. Oh no. Right, let's just evolve from the night anyway. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Got a thousand to use. Alright, I'm close my house. How much health can I do? Oh, I can't 600 again. Stamina, can I increase that? No. Right, this one. Can I increase anything on here? No. That should be able to do. No, I can't. Let's just confirm as it is. You get XP quite quick anyway. Got another trophy. Anarchy in the UK. Why, how? how Oh, he died. Is it because I didn't do that thing? Is it because I didn't kill her? Right, so me not stopping her when I had the chance. He's now one of them. So me not stopping her when I had the chance to basically got everyone else killed. Shit. Oops. Should have killed him while I had a chance. I should have just killed her instead of fucking making her forget. I mean, obviously I wasn't sure enough to beat you. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. 
I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the guard. Leave him, Jonathan. I'm came now, you want me to. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. By the sacred stone, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. Oh, bugger. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned the dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge. But I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now Guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Do you really believe they would come for us here, in such a public venue? McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Hello anyway, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, like, subscribe below, and don't forget to the location bell. Notification, but I need to start speaking properly. <laughs> More clearer. <laughs> Slimming. Anyway, guys, take care. Peace out.